ready. Racing, comes the name, slow, best out, would have been caught on Kit, round the outside, Coleridge, Jim goes to the lead, then Tatum Baxter, here's comes the name, coming around wide now, they're followed up the middle by Sells Bay, back behind them, Sakaji Weir, around the corner, in front is Coleridge, Jim, Coleridge, Jim will get the prize, second, caught on Kit, comes the name, right down the outside, got home for third, Sells Bay was next, they're followed by Tatum Baxter, in that bunch was Wally Baxter, they're followed further back there by Sakaji Weir, and that, that was near the tail of the field with Cool Gypsy. Racing, field away, best out, Melky in the middle, but coming around wide out, Theseus. Now right behind them, then were followed by another charm. Uh, they're followed off the track, getting around as Gordon's my mate, back a length of two, then were followed Magic Gene around the corner. In front is Melky, it's a maiden no longer. Start 22 today, but it gets the prize. Melky in, then we go Theseus, back we go there to Ginger Tilly. They're followed by Magic Gina, another charm. Out very wide, Gordon's my mate, towards the tail. We had to uh, back there also, gee, Sherlock Munchen never got into it, and Joey Baxter would have been back there as well. Racing, field away, Kentaro Baxter jumped nicely, a power Mars get, going to get the run through and hit it off quickly by another charmer and round the outside, Colby Godfather. So another charmer leads, Colby Godfather coming around the outside, Max Brain Strain running on late, down on the inside of power Mar, but up they come, and nicely clear, getting away, another charmer will score. Then we've got Colby Godfather. Battling on pretty well there at Power Ma. Then we've got Max Brain Strain heading the rest home. They were followed by, was it Grace and Blue back there as they go into the sun here? Tear away, far away, eyes were back. And that, that might have been the last one home. So there's race three. Race four, ready, racing, field away, one of the best to come out is going to be Coldrum. Now going up there, Chipolata handy and down on the inside of Rails Run, you know Shea. Round the turn out of the straight, Solstice going wide, and as they race down the back straight now, getting away in front here is Chipolata, it's opened them up big time. It's out by about five, they're followed by Private Action, back to third, Jackpot J trying to run on again, around the outside is Corbin Roman, uh, Solstice well back into the straight though, nicely clear, Chipolata, Chipolata will score, second Private Action, Third there was Jackpot Jake after a gap, Corbin Roman. You know Shea was next. They're followed further back. There we go to uh, the next one there might have been Solstice. That was back there with Coldrum, and that was one of the last there on crossing. Racing. First officer out nice and showing up wide, Sammy Baxter. They followed another one pushing up there too, and that's Opal Jewel. There was trouble, uh, but hitting the front, used the screws. It just comes through the centre. Round the outside, wide is Opal Jewel. Back we go, my Baxter up. They come though. Used the screws, getting away to score. And then it might be called Dexter in a photo. Along the inside, we had uh, we had uh, the pink there, Sammy Baxter. Opal Jewel was next. There's a gap. The first officer followed further back by my Baxter. Marty McMoth never got it. Into it, and another message must have been back there as well.
Racing, some excitement, slow best out. Nina Baxter round the outside. Midnight Sprite joins it though. Uh, coming around wide, another riddle. They've got the others. Big gap to the others, headed by Lucas Scott. They're followed by Hassess is on the corner though. And Midnight Sprite's got away. Midnight Sprite will dash away and win by about four. Nina Baxter, another riddle. Five or six back, Lucas Scott. There's a gap then to Hassess. They're followed uh, by. Uh, back there we had towards the tail. Some excitement, was it? Back there with another miss and Quinn Baxter back there as well. Racing and the jump well enough. One of the best out though was smoking. Marley Kingman, those gonna drive through on the inside. They're followed. Back we go. We terror. Round the outside, there's one coming wider. No contest as one's fallen, but around the corner. Kingman in front. Down the outside. We terror. But Kingman. Kingman back in winning form. Beat We terror. Out back. Bill was third. They're followed by She's a Gamble. Further back there we go too. Uh, the next one there might have been. I was to go to the sun here. Uh, what was the next one there? Maybe she's a gamble ahead of... Uh, now, the one that tumbled might have been no contest, I think. The one ahead of it, Smoking Marley. So, there we have it. Ready, racing, and the field away, jumping nicely would have been Miss Valian. Going up on the outside, we've got a power candle, and right there is Corborn Kenny. Round the turn out of the straight they go, a power Rocky was the next one. They're followed by uh, next there, trying to get into it, a power Kuru. Down the back they run, they were followed further back there by Lagoon Victory. They're coming out of the back straight now, slipping through a power candle. They're followed Miss Valian. Round the outside, a power Kuru into the straight, kicking away though, a power candle, a power candle score then we've got second uh, we've got Miss Valley in a power Kuru uh, coming late there blushing bell they'll be in a photo for third back we go behind those runners Lagoon victory um, the next one there might have been towards the tail there Corborn Kenny and that uh, Lagoon victory did I mention that and back there also we had a power Rocky that was back today and never got into it And racing, Batty Artis jumped nicely. Look at Abbas Jr. straight to the lead. Around the outside, little Danny Rascal back a length of two to Premier Prince. They're followed out wide there by I Adam. Down on the inside, Sestabon on the corner. He's gone wide, but he's well clear. And Abbas Jr. favourite kicking away to score. Then little Danny Rascal, third will be Batty Artis, fourth at the line, Sestabon. Uh, the next one there might have been I Adam. Uh, they're followed back, we go there to Premier Prince, and that was back with Token Ray towards the tail. set and racing and uh, best out general action now slipping through on the inside Kinlock Silver they're followed up there also as long stockings and coming along the inside Corbin Witcher length for two back no clown further back there Gold Star Junior with some to do they're followed well back by No Worth and tailed off at the moment Toddy's a flyer down the back they go and in front is general action he's kicked away but he's up by about four Corbin Witch here's No Clown looking at danger even this far from home three lengths away Gold Star Junior winding into the race late long stockings on the corner and the leader still is General Action. It's a length and a half clear. Keep kicking, big fella. And down the outside, Long Stockings. But General Action fell in to beat Long Stockings. No clown. They're followed three lengths away. Corbon Witch over the outside, no worth. They're followed back. We go Gold Star Junior. And Toddy's a flyer.
Ready? Racing and best out Chambo. Wide on the track, getting around us. Token Ace, they're matching motors. Uh, they're followed. May May Last has also come round the outside, and there was a bit of trouble there. May May Last checked on the corner. Getting away in front is Chambo, and it's out by a couple of lengths, and Chambo will score. Then we've got down the outside, Will Excite the second, then Unreliable Andy. They're followed back. We go Token Ace. Uh, May May Last, there was trouble on the home corner, and towards the tail, only got time, and uh, go Tomo back with it. But there's race number 11. And racing, Norman Jewell jumped nicely. Now, Nitty Seagoon, the inside, is trying to push through there. Uh, getting up and around the outside, we've got Budgie Wright. They're followed four lengths away by Stitch up on the corner. Norman Jewell has kicked away. He's out by two or three. They won't catch him. Norman Jewell in. They're followed by Nitty Seagoon and up for third Stitch up. Little gap there to Budgie Wright. They're followed on the inside, Hampton on tap out, Wada La Fontaine. And back near the tail, Fair Cruising. And no chairs would have been back there as well.